powering the largest district in India. And I'm also driving through one of the most colorful regions. From brown landscapes and their beautiful palaces to white landscapes and their exquisite handicrafts. This week, I'm crossing latitudinal boundaries to enter the Wild West. Join me on my epic journey through Kutch on Follow the Star. The district of Kutch lies in the northwest of Gujarat, surrounded by the Gulf of Kutch to the south and the Arabian Sea to the west. A large part of the district is a seasonal island known as the Run of Kutch that makes for a fascinating geographical phenomenon. My journey starts in the seaside town of Mandvi. From there, it's north all the way. I visit the district headquarters of Bhuj and venture into the desert to experience Kachi culture before concluding my journey right at the tip of Gujarat in the great run of Kutch. My entire road trip is spread over a distance of 234 kilometers and I've chosen to drive the Mercedes B180. Gujarat is an ideal destination for road journeys. It has a rapidly expanding road network and the only hiccup I can see is traffic of the four-legged kind. The state is largely industrial and it's almost essential for the roads to be well connected and maintained. In fact, Gujarat has more state highways than other parts of the country and today, I'm taking State Highway 45 that leads up to the great run of Kutch. The only downside to Gujarat's otherwise impressive highways is the sheer lack of amenities for travellers who wish to take on the road. I've driven over 50 kilometres and I haven't seen even one restaurant or dhaba on the way. I've just entered Bhuj. It's the district headquarters of Kutch. The city serves as a base for tourists who want to explore the interiors of Kutch. Bhuj is known throughout the country as one of the worst affected areas of a devastating earthquake that struck Gujarat in 2001. The entire city has been reconstructed since, but there are still parts of Bhuj that stand as reminders of the city's historic past. I'm headed to one such place. Bhuj was ruled by the Jadeja dynasty for 438 years and Aina Mahal here is a remnant of the rule. This city has a lot of interesting stories to tell, so I'm here to meet an interesting storyteller. Promote JD's passion for history led to becoming a curator at Aina Mahal 28 years ago. He shares a special rapport with the royal family of Kutch and has even authored eight books that chronicle the heritage of the city. So Pramodji, I've heard that the architect of this place, he was a sailor. Yeah. Why don't you tell me a little about him and the history of this place? Actually, the Ram Singh Malam जो थे, वो Ram Singh Malam ने ये Aina Mahal को interior decoration किया है. Okay. Actually, he was a seaman, और उसका ship जा रहा था दरिया के अंदर, तो उसका ship break हो गया. वो time. Ship break हो गया. हाँ, तो उसको बचाने के लिए एक Dutch ship वहाँ से निकला, और उसने उसको बचाया. Save किया. और उसके अपने साथ Holland लेके गया. वो Holland के अंदर 18 साल रहा वो, 18 years. तो उसने बहुत सी art 
उसको सीखा उसने फिर वो रिटर्न हुआ जब भी वहाँ से हॉलैंड से वापस आया ये टाइम कच्छ के अंदर जो था राजा वो बहुत आर्ट का शौकीन था उसका नाम था महाराव लखवीर जी तो उसने उसके साथ संपर्क किया और वो राजा ने इसके अंदर टैलेंट देखा और उसने अपॉइंट कर दिया कच्छ के लिए So during the earthquake, yeah. how many things inside this mahal were damaged? How did you restore it? Was it really bad? Yes, this 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 is the Phuara Mahal. This portion is the main portion of the Aina Mahal. Okay. And this was very badly damaged. This portion yes, was badly this damaged. Yes, badly damaged. It was like this, you know, the turn like this. Oh my God. Six inch. And then we opened this terrace, and we removed this damage from the top, and and then after we concrete this one now. Okay. So now we inside is four inch only the terraces. Before it was one and half feet. Pramod ji has a wealth of knowledge. He tells me about the royal chhatar these that lie not very far from Aina Mahal. These cenotaphs were also built by Ram Singh Malam in honor of the kings. It's interesting how the architecture of Burj is highly influenced by Europe. Next door to Aina Mahal is the giant Prague Mahal designed in the Italian style. Another fascinating site is the Ramkun step well that lies in the heart of the city. Step wells like these serve as irrigation tanks and are almost synonymous with Gujarat. The Ramkun step well offers a quiet atmosphere and is a great way to cool off in the summer. It definitely seems to be a hit among the amphibians here. I'm on my way to meet Kuldeep. He's been closely associated with the communities here. He knows Kutch like the back of his hand and has offered to show me around. Wasunu Hindustan asa jo pyaro Hindustan. Kuldeep Gadvi has all it takes to be a perfect travel guide. He loves the outdoors, speaks fluent English, and shares his heart and soul with the tribes of Kutch. Kuldeep runs a company called Kutch Adventures and enjoys planning tours for those looking to venture off the beaten track. Now when you're exploring a tribal area, it's always advisable to hire a guide who speaks the local dialect and understands regional lifestyles. Besides, there's nothing like company when you're on the road. Coming up on Follow the Star, Kuldeep and I set out on a classic road trip to explore the culture and cuisine of Kutch. I then continue my journey further to the much-awaited Great Run of Kutch. <laughs> 